make us some bait prep for the weekend. Um, basically, I'm going to grind about a kilo of sticky manila, about a five kilo bag there. Also got some manila pellets. This is basically what I'm going to be using for winter. Um, a litre of cloudy manila glug and got myself a manila bait spray which kind of leaked in car so car smells of manila now but all good so yeah basically i'll be using a little ngt grinder which i'm going to give it a little rinse out now because it's a little bit a bit of boily and shit in there and i'll be crushing some i'll be crushing some up with the old with the old grinder making up some stick mixes and i'm also going to put a few hook baits into these little glug pots and getting sprayed up with the bait spray so hopefully my preparation should be done for the weekend hopefully i can catch one so right i should see you in a bit i'll get back to you soon right i'm just going to spray these i've just put i don't know there's maybe 20 or so manila bottom baits in there which i'm going to spray with the bait spray which hopefully these this amount should do me basically throughout the winter so I don't really do much casting really cast and leave so yeah i'm going to spray these now and leave them to soak and obviously i'll just keep applying it once it's dried out i'll keep applying it and applying it and applying it and then that'll give me milk baits that little bit of extra boosty boosty Just squirts of that. Pop the old lid on. So basically, just get them oh, thrown it about. Get them glazed over. Over a couple of days, that should start seeping in, and then I'll spray them again. And every time they keep drying out, just keep spraying them. Just enhance that that bait in there. So hopefully, these should give me that little bit of extra edge over winter months so that's that one done a bit prepped easy enough all right step two in bait prep i'm going to add these little rather 2.3 millimeter pellets i'm gonna add i don't know just a maybe x amount into a little tub and then I'm going to grind up I don't know maybe 30 40 boilies into that and then I should have be adding a bit of the manila liquid into that to make, to create some stick mixes and that should do me for a few sessions too and then like I say I'm going to grind up a lot of boilies with the NGT grinder to create like a little spot mix so hopefully this is going to do me. Right, and there it is. That's basically the, the 2.3 millimeter pellets manila and the crushed up boilies. There's probably about 50 in there crushed up. That should do at least at least a session. Unless I have a straight red light day and I'm catching constantly. But yeah, obviously with the with the bait that I'll be throwing out and these little sticks, that should hopefully do me. For the next session at the weekend, I will add a little bit of manila glug to that now and obviously slodge it up a little bit and that should all soak into that and that should be away we go, that should be perfect. That should be enough there, give that a mix up. Go get one of the forks out of the kitchen, well that will be happy. So yeah, that should be about right for that once I've mixed it all up. Uh, as you can see, I've started doing the spod mix, which is now consisting of a lot of chopped boilies and whole boilies. So we've got plenty of chops in there, quite a lot of dust. Like I say, there's whole boilies in there as well, so keep them guessing what's going on. And I'm going to add a few more pellets into the mix, mix all that in. And there'll be some glug added to that. And on a day or two before I go, I will be defrosting some more hemp seed 
and maize and that will go in the mix as well which i'll show you on the bank once i get on the bank but preparation so far is going okay so yep so i'll just now add a little bit of this to there give that a mix in with another with our lasses fork should be happy. and hopefully once I get on the bank and add a bit of, I'm going to add a bit of boiling water to it, to be fair, once I get on the bank. And that should um, be lovely. Because I say, it is getting colder now. Leaves are dropping off at trees, so it's, it's now middle of autumn. So hopefully they're just going to get on that munch just before the real cold weather sets in. And hopefully we'll pick one up. But yeah, so that's the way. Oh, let me just, oh, well, me, I'll just show you this um, little stick mix that I started making one second yeah there's that is there is basically that's basically crumbed up boiler and 2.3 millimeter pellets and a bit of glug and at the minute it's like a consistency of I don't know maybe flapjack before it's cooked it's really sticky so that should over the next few days should be soaking in well and we should be Looking at a bite, I'm hoping. So, right, boys, I'll speak to you in a bit. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Northern Catfish Fishing Channel. Um, I've come down Rick Lakes because obviously now it's the stage where you don't have to book on. So, I've bobbed down here for the for weekend. We're going to see what we can do. I say, I'm just walking around at the minute. I've just stuck a little, stuck a little bucket in this swimming peg for. Because when I come around, I saw one Bosch out in mid-water. So it's not a massive cast, I don't know. It's only about six, seven wraps at the middle. So I saw one Bosch out. So I'm hoping I'm going to stick in here. But we'll see. If I see any more shows, there's quite a few pegs spare. So I'm going to give it a bash in here. Sorry we've not been um, uploading for a while. But... Um, I say I've just had my little baby girl, so there were a few complications on on birth. She was born not breathing, so so yeah. Uh, so I've had a little bit of time off, and then my car broke. My back axle snapped at motorway, so I had to go out and buy a a cheap little runabout. But yeah, I'm back out on bank now. It's now middle of November, and it's it's quite chilly to be fair. But I love my winter fishing. It's my favourite time of year. I don't know why, it just is. I seem to have better catch rates in winter than I do in, in summer and spring. So, like I say, I'm going to give it a bash. I say, as, you, as you saw earlier on in the video, I pre-made I pre a load of bait at home. So that's what I'm going to be using. Whether or not I spot out a load of gear or fish singles, you never know, do you? I'll flick a few singles out to start off with. See what I can pick up. Fish for liners to start off with, find out where they are. And then I'll take it from there. So I'm going to go back to the car now, get all my gear out, get set up, and I'll speak to you again once I'm sorted, show you what rigs I'm sending out. Right, I'll speak to you soon. Right, as you can see, I'm, I'm all set up now. I've just flicked three singles out a minute. I've got one on a pink peril DNA. I've got one on a white sticky manila. And I've got one on a snowman rig, which is a, a manila bottom bait, which obviously you saw in my preparations with the ones that were sprayed in the bottles. 
and a little white manila topper. So I found a little spot. Ow. See the two sticks in the water? There's a spot out there, which is only five wraps. And it's a hole about seven foot deep. Well, but as soon as it drops in, it drops in at seven foot and then it steadies back out to five. So I've got one in there at the minute and just two dotted about. One where I saw that showing fish this morning when I first turned up. And the other one is just to the right hand side. I say I pre-baited two margin swims because I was speaking to Bailiff and he says that margins are a real good spot. But if you can find that hole out in open water, then that's a brilliant spot to get in, which I've found. Found it with deeper. Well it wasn't hard to find anywhere but so I found that one. So I'm just gonna see what happens at the minute I'm fishing for liners. So I wanna know whereabouts whereabouts they are. So I'm just gonna sit back, sit back in bed in in bivy and just watch water, make a bacon sandwich and a brew. And we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, everything's set up. It's all looking good. It does look good for a bite though, but I do a bit of wind, I won't mind a bit of wind. But yeah, we'll just see how we get on. So I shall update you in a little bit. How's it going guys? So just a little update. Um I had a little liner on the middle rod. Well showing it were a liner. Because when I ate into it there were nothing there at all. No resistance. But um yeah, it's just about to start getting dark. So I thought I'd give you a little update on what's happening. Not a right lot. So uh, no fish as of yet. I don't think anyone around late's caught out. Neither, but I've just put my rods out for the night. I've got one down in my left hand margin, just behind my shoulder here. Um, on a spot that I baited up this morning. I've got one out in that hole at five, five and a quarter wraps. And I've just put one out in open. So the one out in open, that's on a pink peril, staying there. The one in the hole is on, what did I put? Oh yeah, I put, um, a manila wafter, but I put a DNA PB wafter topper, so it looks like a little yellow topper on top of it. And the one that left on margin that is on a DNA milky malt. So I'm just going to try my luck with them, and they're all out with um, little PVA bags of manila pellets. So it's all all fruity. So we'll see how we get on. But yeah, so my little update. There's not right lot happening though. So. I had my tea. I had um, chili and rice. Not very nice. Um, but yeah, not right lot. So, but if I do, if I do get one, obviously you'll see. But if not, as it's getting dark, I'll probably see you in the morning. So, right, I'll catch you later. Oh, I got a lazy eye. Whoa. Oh no, no I'm not going lazy eye. Probably lazy eye then I thought that. Jesus. <laughs> well, good morning guys. Well, not right that happened, to be fair. I was going to run 10 to 10 last night. I thought it was about 2 o'clock in the morning because I'd fallen asleep because it was pitch black. So I bolted out of my socks, hit into it, nothing there at all. But it was a full blown take, but I made a score by error on my last session. My receiver died, and my receiver's still dead. So I had to leave the door open all night, freezing cold, just so I could hit alarms. But, like I say, 10 to 10, it's the only one I got. Well, as you can see, it's morning, it's flat calm. And rods are silent. I've not seen any shows this morning, I've been for about an hour. not seen anything at all. Because uh, obviously yesterday when I got down here, there were, well, I saw one show in this bay, and that was it. So I would hoping it would happen again. Give me a pinpoint of where to, where I put my rods. But but yeah, nothing. But hopefully now we can get back out on bank and get some more videos thrown out because it's been a little bit busy on it with, with life and work and Kev's still busy with work. He's he's not gonna be back out on bank now, he's he's getting dusty. He's gonna be back out on bank probably between Christmas and New Year, so so I'll be filling in with some videos. So if you don't, if you don't like them, don't watch them. 
you know what I mean? But I try to keep you as entertained best I can. I'll show you what we're going on about, how life is. But yeah, it's uh, it's bleak, it's damp, wet. It's, it's just stopped raining. It's been raining for a little bit. Otherwise, I'd have been out talking to you beforehand. But yeah, I'm gonna bring these rods in now and reposition them. I've got a few hours left. Don't want that one. But um, yeah, I got a few hours left, so I'm gonna get my rods back out and see where we're at. I've just made a made a brew, so waking up properly. I'm gonna have some porridge, and I shall um, speak to you in a little bit. But yeah, it's been it's nice to get out of bank. I've enjoyed it, even though I ain't caught out with Rake Lakes. I've um, I fished it now four times. Never had out. Never had out. So I ain't cracked the cord of this place yet. I don't even, if any if any of you have fished it and know where where well, somewhere from where to start, like what sort of baits to use for, for catching in winter and this that and other. So obviously the baits what I'm using today they catch on Q Lake, so they're catching other venues just here. I don't seem to don't ever seem to catch out. I say I spotted it barely. I got the point of where to fish. Like he's told me to fish into all. He's told me to fish into margins, but no, I never picked any liners up and out. So maybe they're just not here. Last night as it would get dark, I could hear some crashing up top end up top end up lake up, up peg one side, but I haven't seen up down here. So it's one of them things. One of them things. But yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I say if you do like these videos, please hit that subscribe button and drop a like. And I say if you do wanna have a chat, leave leave some comments and we'll we'll have a chat. So, so yeah, well that's it. I'm gonna start and gonna make some porridge and I shall speak to you soon. See ya. That was one of my rigs last night. Little whittle down milky malt. Did absolutely jack shit. That's on a on a combi rig. That's um IQ2. A little bit of supple bread. Linked together with an um, Albright knot. I'm gonna change that now. Send that somewhere else. Change all my rigs up. I'm bringing my rods in. Never gonna catch on that, am I? What a little ball on the end of the hook. Oh, that is. Uh, what's what's the chances? Weird. Oh yeah, and that'll be my little snowman rig. That was a PB PB wafter and a Manila wafter. It's a little big that that one. No back leaded. I'm a little pink pearl, a little down, but did nothing, nothing at all. So all right, there's no back legs going out this time. I'm just gonna simply fan them out and just see if I can pick any liners up. So I'll be a pro, so. Oh, crazy. I actually thought I'd have caught in that all last night, but it just didn't happen, did it? Right, let's get his rig sorted. 
Right guys, that's me. I'm literally all packed up with my car now. Um, not that I pertained it, so I spoke to a few lads coming back round, no one's caught out, so I'm not on my own. I'm not on my own, but I will be back two weeks time. I'm coming for two nights, I think. So I want to crack this place. I just want one fish out of it. It's one of them places, you know, it bugs you and bugs you and bugs you because you're not catching out. So yeah, I'm back. I'm coming back. So hopefully you like this video. I say there's not much involved, there's not much to it, but an update, something in it, bringing you something, some content. So I hope you like it. And if you do, hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe because it does help us out massively. So leave a comment, drop a comment in the box below and we'll have a chat. We'll have a chat because I always respond to every comment that comes through. I, I always try and respond to everyone. So but I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully next time I come out, Kev will with me. Well, you never know. Work's busy with him at the minute, so it's one of them things. But I'll keep bringing you content. So I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.